Ladies and gentlemen, can we now be seated, please? Ladies and gentlemen, seated, please. Thank you very much. Right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good afternoon and welcome to Birmingham and welcome to the LDC Conference 2019, uh, especially to first-time uh, attendees. For those of you who do, don't know who I am, wherever you've been, <laughs> uh, I, I'm Vijay Sudra and I'll be chairing conference for you uh, this year. Uh, when I took over from Joe in Belfast 12 months ago, my first statement was to remind all present that this is very much your conference. So I start by thanking all those LDCs that have submitted motions for debate. Motions make conference, and our choices here will give our political leaders direction going forwards. My aspiration for this year has been a more back-to-basics conference with emphasis on motions, and I do look forward to an impassioned debate. We do have some guest speakers as well, and hopefully they will educate us on what is possible um, with examples of dental health care provision elsewhere in the world, and also bring home just how precarious NHS dentistry has become. Uh, my special thanks uh, to our gold sponsor this year, that's Dental Elite, and I ask please that all delegates visit the uh, trade stands during the coffee and lunch breaks. We are grateful to all our sponsors and uh, their support is really essential for, for a conference like this. On your top table, uh, alongside myself, you have your chair-elect, Leah Farrell, and treasurer, uh, for conference, young William Newport. Uh, your returning officer will be Martin Woodrow. There he is, Martin. And uh, the BDA support staff will be hovering with microphones for the Q&A sessions and help with the general running of the show. Uh, you have hard copies of the papers, and if you need Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi code is in your pack. Um, for those of you staying at the Holiday Inn, in case you're not aware, there is a, a direct passageway into the conference centre from the hotel. Also, uh, you will not be able to check into your rooms until the close of conference this afternoon. Your luggage, however, will be delivered to your rooms in good time. Those that have their rooms fully funded by conference will be able to collect room keys from the express check-in desk, which is outside where you picked up your ID badges, your name badges. Anyone needing to settle all or some of their room charges will need to collect their key from the main hotel reception. If you're unsure of your status, just ask the events team for <coughs> clarification. Also, please make sure that you sign the attendance registers for both today and tomorrow. This will, authorize, this will enable authorization of expenses and, and a speedy recompense. We are filming and also taking photographs of conference and also the dinner. Now, some of these uh, images may be used to promote the conference. If people have objections uh, to being filmed or have their photographs taken. Can you please let Carmel know? Carmel is there on the support staff table, please. Right, so some specific house, uh, conference specific house rules now. I appreciate that we do have over 30 motions to get through, so I thank you in advance for your cooperation. If you are moving a motion, or wish to speak to a motion for or against, please be ready and seated here in good time. A reminder also that only LDC reps are allowed to vote for or against conference motions. 
No GDPC reps or LDC observers can vote. We know which categories you are because you've got different lanyards, different colored lanyards. The black one is for observers, yellow for GDPC members, and green for LDC representatives. Again, if you're unsure of your voting permissions, please seek advice from the BDA support staff. When voting, you've got your green cards. Can you lift them aloft like this and not wave them down here so that it's easier for the people counting? So right, right up there, please. Um, when speaking to a motion, you will be allowed to speak for a maximum of three minutes. And the mover of each motion has the right of return to the rostrum for another minute, if they so choose. We will be strict with this to enable a dynamic conference. And your past chair, Mr. Hendren, has donated his daughter's bicycle horn. Can we have a demonstration? There we go. Beep, beep. There you go. If you go over, you hear the horn, you've got to get off the stage. You will, note, you will have noticed in your papers um, that I have allowed for narratives to accompany motions this year. I would be most grateful when moving a motion if delegates expand on this narrative and not simply repeat it verbatim. If you wish to respond to a motion, you have some blue slips on your tables. Can you please complete them? Mention your name, which LDC you're from, or GDPC, and whether you're speaking in favour of the motion or against, and present those to Leah at the top desk, top table here, please. Um, and when you come to the rostrum, don't forget to introduce yourself too, please. So just to check that you've been listening, uh, we're going to do a dummy run now. I don't know if we've got the motion there, but we'll do a test motion. No, we haven't. Okay, the test motion is that this conference requests the agenda committee to arrange a dinner during the 2020 conference. Those in favour, raise your cards, please. Very good. Those against, it's working. Brilliant. Any abstentions? Jolly good. Excellent. Right. Some motions are country specific, and I will highlight these as we go along. I do encourage new speakers to come to the rostrum. Please don't be shy. We were all newbies once. You don't want to see the same old farts here. We want to encourage youthful de you know, delegates to come and get involved. Um, also, during the Q&A session, please ask questions. Do not ramble. If people go off piece, we're going to have to cut you off, because we are short for time, and we want to try and keep to the... Uh, to the uh, schedule. There was something else, and I've lost my notes. Um, oh yes, no fire alarms. No fire alarms are scheduled uh, for this afternoon. So if you do hear a continuous siren, please evacuate. You can see the fire exits there, and I think there were some at the back here. The assembly points are behind this building in the NCP car park at the back. Um, Mobile phones switched off or to vibrate, and the Ben Fund donations will be gratefully appreciated if we have to hear any dodgy um, phone tunes. Toilets are on the first floor. This is the second floor downstairs, and ladies and gents on either side. Um, finally, something not quite related to LDC conference, but I think I would like to raise this here at this point whilst people are sort of still alert. It won't be good tomorrow morning. Um, as a result of some work that Birmingham LDC carried out about 18 months ago in respect of roles and uh, responsibilities of LDCs, the BDA have updated their LDC constitution model. This is now freely available on the BDA website, and I would encourage all LDCs to adopt this. Um, at the earliest opportunity. There are many safeguards within this new model constitution which will protect LDCs and your members. Uh, I would, as I say, urge you to do this as soon as you can. So that's enough from me. We're going to crack on with conference now. So the first item on the, on, on the agenda is an amendment to Standing Order 17. Now, you haven't got uh, standing orders in your packs, but if you look at the electronic <coughs> versions that were emailed out earlier, Standing Order 17 
the agenda committee feel it needs amending. We would like to add, as you can see in red there, that the returning officer shall not be able to speak to a motion. If people, are, if they, if people have any questions about why we've put this on, on here, I'm happy to take those. Otherwise, I'm happy to go straight to a vote. This is not an LDC motion. This is an amendment to standing orders, and therefore, all GDPC members and LDC members can vote. Okay, so those in favour of that addition, the red sentence there, can you please lift your cards for me, please? Show us your cards. Okay. Um, those against, please. Any abstentions? Thank you very much. Okay, so that standing order has been changed with immediate effect. Thank you very much. Good.